This video is a terrain making test. In this terrain test I try to model a small wall from air drying clay. The idea behind this is to use an inexpensive material to create stone structures effectively and as realistically as possible. Moist, soft clay is very easy to work with and so you can quickly build up the basic shape of the wall. The hardening clay can then, as it dries, be worked very precisely. So much for the theory. In practice, it starts with kneading the clay with a little water until it is smooth enough. As a substructure serves 3mm thick MDF wood. Leftovers from a model kit in this case. Some glue should create a better connection between clay and wood. The clay should always be kept moist and flexible. To do this you can simply brush it with a little water. I decided to build up piece by piece. But you could also remove material from a larger chunk of clay. A spatula is then used to shape the whole thing. Oh yeah, wearing gloves is recommended. Time for a little break. Our book Miniature Terrain Making Volume 1 is entering the finish line on Kickstarter. With the last two stretch goals, another 12 pages can be added to the book. So, have a look! We will continue with our wall now and piece by piece. Clay, like foam, can be textured with a ball of aluminium foil or small stones for example. This is a tool made of sand and green stuff. The stone texture of the wall is drawn on the clay, which already has dried a bit. You can use a craft knife to create sharp edges and joints. I pre-drawn the wall stones with a pencil and then scratched them out with a nail tool. Here the clay could have been a little softer, but it's just a test. Scratching and chipping clay creates realistic textures. I really like it. Fortunately, you can continue to work with wet clay even after it dries. Unsightly spots can be touched up or the model can be extended or even changed. And you know it, I always have to speckle over and change things. It is a horror. And keep on scratching. Excess material is swept away so we have a clear view of the work piece. Now some texture pays for the base and quickly some paint and foliage on it. I have a lot of fun working with clay and I learned a lot from this test. In the next project I will do something differently and maybe even better. What do you think? Is working with clay worse in tabletop terrain modeling? Have fun and keep on making terrain! <laughs>